Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will demonstrate how to calculate the allowable vertical load stresses on a wall. We will start with a worked example. We have a 3.2 meters wall height that is made of clay bricks with a compressive strength of 30 newton per square millimeters and a mortar designation of type 2. The thickness of the wall is 102.5 millimeters. The pier's thickness and breadth are 215 millimeters and 440 millimeters, respectively. The distance between the piers is 4.5 meters. So, we need to calculate the ultimate vertical load stress capacity of the wall, assuming the partial safety factor for materials is 3.5, and the resistance to lateral loading is simple. In this example, we will assume that the eccentricity of the applied load is less than 0.05 t. Since the compressive strength of the bricks is 30 newton per square millimeters, we get that characteristic compressive strength from BS 56281, Table 2A, which equals 7.1 newton per square millimeters. As previously stated, we will assume simple resistance to lateral loading. As a result, effective height equals the actual height 3.2 meters. The next step is to determine the effective thickness of the wall, but first, we must calculate the stiffness coefficient from BS 56281, Table 5. So, we need to calculate the ratio of pier spacing to width, which equals 4500, divided by 440, giving us 10.2 and, the ratio of pier thickness 215 to wall thickness 102.5 is 2.1. As a result of using linear interpolation, in table 5, the stiffness coefficient k, equals 1.22. As a consequence, the effective thickness of the wall is equal to the wall thickness 102.5, multiplied by the stiffness coefficient 1.22, equals 125.1 millimeters. Therefore, the slenderness ratio is equal to the actual height of 3,200 millimeters, divided by the effective wall thickness of 125.1 millimeters. This results in a value of 25.6, which is less than the allowable slenderness ratio of 27. As a result, using linear interpolation from BS 56281, capacity reduction factor beta equals 0.47 in table 7. Hence, allowable vertical load stress capacity equals capacity reduction factor beta 0.47 multiplied by characteristic compressive strength 7.1 newton per square millimeters divided by partial safety factor 3.5. This results in a value of 0.95 newton per square millimeters. Therefore, the vertical load resistance of the wall equals 0.95 newton per square millimeters, multiplied by 102.5 millimeters wall thickness. This results in a value of 97.4 kilonewtons per meter. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.